Hey everybody, Craig here. I've got a game tonight and I've got a press pass with your name on it because you're going with me. But before we jump in the car and head out, let's take a look at the gear that I'm going to be using. All right, there's the full cast of gear that I will be taking tonight. Let's get a closer look, shall we? Up first, the Nikon D7200 camera body with a power grip. I like the power grip because I don't look like a contortionist when I'm trying to take those vertical shots, which is your primary shot in basketball. With that, I have the Sigma 70-50 to 50 2.8 lens. Won't use this lens very much at all tonight, but I do like to take it so I can get some you know, different perspectives, some different storytelling type shots. I'll put this on the, on the camera body, set the camera body on the floor at a slight angle, and work on getting those the wide angle shots of the guy going in for the rebound and everybody's just crashing the boards and or the quick little layup shots it's, it's really good for those now here's my go-to lens this is also a sigma this is a 50 to 150 2.8 lens it's a great lens for gymnasium type shooting you know, volleyball and especially basketball i will use this probably 95 98 percent of the time tonight now i have a big one i will be taking with me this is also a sigma 150 to 500 the problem with it is, is it's variable aperture. It's a 5 to 6.3, which means I have to make some adjustments either by raising my ISO, which I will probably already be at 6400, don't want to go much higher than that, or I have to slow down my shutter speed to like 500 or 640, which we all know that can result in blurry photos. There's the bag I'll be throwing all that gear into. It's a messenger style bag. You can just kind of put around your over your neck and under your shoulder. You can just grab it and go real fast. So hey, why don't we take a look and see what Craig has in his bag? Um, it's pretty much empty. Oh, it's because all the gear is already out, right? Let's take a look here. We have a spare battery because you got to have spare batteries. You just have to. That's all there is to it. And of course, along with the spare battery. Oh, wait, look at this. There's my cloth. In case I, my nose is runny or something. No, actually, I use this to wipe all the lenses down. Well, not only do I have a spare battery, I have a battery charger. That's what's in the bag on this side. What else we got? Huh? Uh, nothing else good. Nothing else good. Oh, let's check back here. Because you have to have... Uh, there we go. Got to have your press pass. Got to have a press pass. Press pass lets you get in for free. Press pass lets you go almost wherever you want. So I've got a handful of press passes, as you can see. So anyway, there you go. There's the bag that I'll be taking and putting all the gear in. You've seen the gear, you've seen the bag. So let's put the gear in the bag and go to the game. Yeah, let's do that. And you gotta love this Pacific Northwest weather. Yep. I left my place, it was rainy, had the windshield wipers on and everything. A few minutes later, the sun came out. It was sunshiny, it was great. And now, well look, take a look for yourself. The clouds are back, it's raining again. But I guess that's um, that's a life of living in the Pacific Northwest. All right, so I've gotten to my destination for the games we're gonna be covering. I'm gonna take you inside right now and let's do that and um, let's try to stay dry. I'm here inside now, got out of the rain, got my camera with me. Got the 7200 body, the Nikon, along with the Sigma lens 50 to 150. About to try my settings out and see if I can get it within about three shots. Luckily here, there's some pretty good lighting. I like that. All right, got my settings, ISO 5000, shutter speed 800, aperture 2.8. Now let me show you where I'm gonna be sitting. Now this first position I'm going to show you, I like it because you can get the fans in the background, players going at it on the court right in front of you, and then you go over here to the left side here, as you can see, you can look right down the end line, you got the baseline, you got the coach's reaction, you get, yeah, people walk in front of you, but that's going to happen, no big deal. But let's go ahead and mosey on over to my primary position during the game. I like this because most players are right-handed, so when they come in for that right-handed uh, layup, 
puts them right there in front of me. I get the face, I get the ball, I get the action. And there's the team bench right there. So you can get the reaction from the team as well as the coach. And also a three point shot. You got the crowd in the background once again. Now this next position puts you right underneath the basket. You can almost feel the sweat coming off the players. They're so close, which gives you some great close up shots. Now these aren't the only places I set when I'm at a game, but these are the main ones. There you have it, a quick overview of what it's like to shoot a basketball game. You get to see the equipment that I take, you get to see where I sit, all that fun, exciting stuff, but we're not done yet. The photos are still on the camera. So then, you gotta take the photos from your SD card, pull them into your computer, and then pull them into your editing software like Photoshop or Lightroom. I like Lightroom, and I probably should do a video for you guys on my editing process. It's a little different than a lot of other people's. If you want me to do that, Leave it in the comment section below and any other questions that you might have. I will answer them as fast as I can. So anyway, you pull those photos into Lightroom and that's when the real fun begins because you get to see the great photos that you created. You didn't just take them, you created them by adjusting your exposure to get that proper and to get in the right positioning around the court so you can get the good action shots, whether it be in the fans, whether it be on the court of the players or the coaches and the teammates on the sidelines. You did that. Not just the camera, you had to set all that up. So anyway, I've got some photos to edit. Um, like I said, subscribe to my channel. And while you're done, when you're done, I should say, go to sportsphoto101.com, right there. And you can learn more about sports photography, including three tips on how to get a press pass for sporting events. Okay, I'm gonna start editing. You guys, get out and shoot.